Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. It is time for some new Calico Critters, some Sylvanian family sets today. These are so adorable. The Sylvanian families and the Cloverleaf Corners residents, they love their sweet treats. So we can open up the donut store or the donut shop and it comes, it even comes with a figure, which is excellent, but we're also gonna open up the fluffy hamster family so that we can have the first customers for the donut store. And they just look adorable. I've been looking forward to opening up this family. There are lots of things I like about both of them. So let's open them up and have a look. We'll start with the hamster family. Here's the daddy hamster. He's waving at you and I love his hat. It's like a little train driver hat. There must be a technical name for that. I don't know what it is, but it's made out of blue felt and it fits perfectly over his ears. He, all of his clothes are held on by Velcro tabs, which is excellent because they're so easy for little fingers to get on and off. And the shirt opens up completely. It's a very nice shade of dusky pink and he's got a tie. He looks very dapper. We'll fix up his sleeve and we ready? Shall we meet Mummy Hamster? We'll put his hat back on so he's properly attired and we shall meet Mummy Hamster. Now Mummy Hamster love their little noses. Look, it goes, it's got the pale outside of the of their muzzle and a little pink, little pink nose and she's got pockets on there that you can't open and no tails on the hamsters because well hamsters don't have tails right <laughs> and if you haven't seen these sort of critters before these dolls they are fully articulated their arms and their legs and then heads move and mummy and daddy hamsters just giving each other a kiss because well they're adorable and the big sister hamster i love so much because she's wearing a yellow dress and that is my favorite color and it's so bright and sunshiny she's even got a little sunflower ornament on the front see look their next move and this dress opens up entirely at the back so you can get it on and off with the greatest of ease after you've shoved their little <laughs> arms through the armholes that's perfect look the hamster family Family cuddle! Squish! Squishes for everyone! <laughs> Alright, Hamster family. If you would like to visit the donut shop, well, we're gonna need to open it up. So let's do that. Let's have a look what is inside the donut store box. There is there is our, our, our figure and lots of donuts and some cups and oh some boxes to make. <laughs> Give me patience. And some big pieces of furniture. So let's see. We will start with the figure, which is a bear, an orangey bear. She is called Carol Cuddle Bear and she runs the donut store. Uh, if she's Calico Critters, she's called Carol Cuddle Bear. Look at her little fluffy tail. If she is a Sylvanian Families, if we call her a Sylvanian Families Bear, she's called Marguerite Petite, which is really cute. We're going to tuck her little tail outside of her dress because there's a little hole at the back where you can put their tails out. And she's saying hello to the hamster family. Hello, hamster family. Let's move everybody over so they can all see. And we'll get this donut store set up. Well, we'll get all the pieces out anyway. So first up, we have the big donut display. I know that because it says donut on the top. Dead giveaway there. <laughs> and our next big piece of furniture is a serving table, a servery, so we can put, well, the things that we need to serve everything out on it. Let's see what we have in this plastic bag. Okay, some silvery thing. Does it go that way? No, it doesn't. No, it goes the other way. It is a heating uh, a plate, like a hot plate, to put the teapot on to keep the tea warm. So this must be a self-serve donut shop because you come and get your own cup of tea from the teapot that's keeping warm and one big mug for our tea. No fine china in the donut shop. <laughs> nice big industrial size mugs so we can pour the tea into it. <laughs> That'll be lovely. Lovely to have a cup of tea to dunk our donuts into and some sort of wicker tray there. Looks kind of like a an airing rack for your dishes, doesn't it? Oh, and some tongs, a pair of tongs so that you can pick up your donuts. Oh, good, two pairs of tongs. And, oh, look, <laughs> some fancy donut store plates. So there's a spot to put your cup and a spot to put your treats. There are two of those and they stack really nicely. What else have we got? Um... We might move that down here so we don't put any of these treats on the floor because that would be horrible. We've got a bear muffin that is so 
So, so sweet. Look at that. The little face on it. This is supposed to be a donut store. So there's two little bear muffins, just in case you have a customer that doesn't want a donut. But here's a donut. Look at it. It's all sugary and yummy looking. Mmm. I love cinnamon donuts. They're my favorite thing. I don't really like them iced. I like just cinnamon sugar donuts. They're so yummy. We might put that on there. Mm. <laughs> and a pink glazed icing donut. We got two of those, good. These all come in pairs. So if one person wants one, the other person won't mix miss out. That's a very, very dark chocolate donutty thing. Almost black. Here's one that's been dipped. Look at that icing, it's dribbled down the side and onto the bottom. There are two of those little swirly ones. These are fancy donuts. That one even looks like a little cake. That looks like it would be very, very crisp and crunchy. Mmm. Yum, it's been dipped in chocolate too. Here's one that I think has been dipped in either caramel, maybe? Or in milk chocolate? You'll have to decide that. That's up to you. And some churros, some cinnamon sticks. Yum, I love them too. And <laughs> we can stick it in the donut. Or we can dunk them in our tea. They're just the right size to dunk in tea, see? And then you can eat them. Oh, <laughs> knock the other donuts off. We need to be more careful with all of the foodstuffs. Okay, so that is all our donuts. Now, <laughs> now we need to get some of these cardboardy things out. These go on the display shelves. So they line our wicker baskets on the display shelves. Just like that, that's very nice. And, okay, we have got some boxes here to take the donuts away in some takeaway boxes and these are always a bit of a challenge to put together let's see how I go with these ones I always do much better on the second one so the first one's gonna be a bit of a trial so we'll bend all the bendy bits bend them all down bend them all in think about how this is gonna work it's a 3d object so bend it around and okay trying to get the bottom in here there's no tabs, they just need to slot in here. I'm not a box making master. There is some trick to this. Uh, these little tabs might need to go in here in the big tab. Uh, let me think, oh I know, all right, all right, all right. Let me have a try again. So the little tabs tuck in under the big flat one and then you need to get the big tab to go in over the top. That takes a little bit of maneuvering and then you tuck this tab on the side in and you might want to affix that with a little bit of super glue when you've finished, just that little tab on the side so it doesn't pop open. And then the top you want to be able to open and shut so you can get the donuts in and out. But let me see how that's supposed to go. That's supposed to push down. Uh, come on. One of these sides is a little bit bigger than the other. So there is one that goes underneath and the other one goes on top. That's it. And then you click the side bits over the little flaps. There, one donut box done. Right, <laughs> let's see if I can do the second one a little bit more swiftly. Okay, getting all the little excess bits out, bend down all the corners. There are more corners than I thought <laughs> the first time around. Now I'm super speedy at this. I know exactly what to do. So round we go, let's watch, let's see how I go. <laughs> so we need to tuck the little tabs under. Need to do it all really at once and then the big tab over the top of the little tabs but under that top one. It looks very neat when it's done. And the side tab in and then we push down the tops and one side is slightly smaller than the other so we need to make sure we get the right top on. That's not right. Now that's right, excellent. Then push them down and click the sides over. Ta-da, 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 that's really good. We've got two donut boxes ready to take away. Well, I think we might be ready to set up the donut store for business. Let me see, all right. So we're going to put all the donuts here into the donut stand. We will match them up by pairs. We'll put these pink strawberry frosted ones here and the caramel or milk chocolate dipped frosted ones next to them and whoa, balancing these little muffin 
bear muffins is tricky. And the cinnamon sticks here on the side. Yum. And the yum 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 cinnamon plain donuts down the bottom next to the really dark chocolatey ones. And the pink glazed ones, strawberry glaze. And that's upside down. And those other ones that I don't know what they are, but they look crunchy and delicious. Oh no, these muffins. It's on such an angle that they, <laughs> and there's so little on the bottom. We might make them go like that. That looks good. We can still see them. They're still on display. We'll move that over and we will set up the serving table. So we need our hot plate to keep the teapot warm. It's going to need a lid. There we go. And the cups. Actually, I think that the cups go into the serving, the holding tray there and the tongs go on the other side and some plates. Good. Now the customers can come in and they can help themselves. And of course we need our takeaway donut boxes. We might put them over here so they don't get stood on while the customers are choosing what they would like to eat. So what do you think? Is it all set up? It is all set up and ready. So around the back you go and you can wait for your first customer. Just check that that teapot is nice and warm, it's keeping warm. Because here comes the hamster family and they would like a donut please. And the big sister hamster is going to choose, well, I don't know what she's going to choose. And you know what, they actually need somewhere to sit to eat these too. So we might bring in some chairs from, from another set and we'll set them up so that they can say they, they can stay here at the donut store and they can eat in. Here's Daddy Hamster, he was a bit late. So I think Mummy Hamster might have ordered for him, which is okay because she knows exactly what he likes. He always gets the same thing every time. They will set up their plates, cups of tea for Mummy and for Daddy. And for Daddy, we might move him out of the way so we can put these on. So Daddy always has the strawberry dipped Mmm, donut. Mummy is just like me and she likes to have the cinnamon donut. And there's no plate for the big sister hamster, so I'm going to go and find one of those from my collection. There's a nice plate. And what are you going to have? Oh, she's very hungry today. She's going to have one cinnamon stick. Yum. And two cinnamon sticks. Goodness gracious me. That is a lot of cinnamon sticks and these muffins are not behaving. <laughs> that one's been on the floor. That one is um, marked down now because it's been on the floor. All right, the hamster family has got all of their yummies and Carol Cuddlebear is gonna come around and pour them a cup of tea because she's very kind. She's a wonderful host. What a lovely sweet treat for the hamster family. Oh, and big sister hamster is dipping her cinnamon stick into mummy's milky tea, which is one of the most delicious things that you can do with tea and cinnamon sticks. <laughs> I hope mummy doesn't mind. <laughs> and it's time for them to move on now. They've got jobs to do, places to go, and daddy hamster still has not finished his tea and his donut. Mummy's in a hurry. We'll bring the cup back later. Bye. Bye, hamster family. Now I wonder who'll come in next for a fresh donut today. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe so that you get notified when new videos go up. Give me a thumbs up and check out some of my other silly videos and I will be back with a new one very, very soon.